Hi, uh, and welcome back to the Finch Keeper. Uh, I've been quite busy for the last nine months and I haven't actually uploaded any videos to YouTube. Uh, as you'll see why, I've been quite busy um, designing software and the software is basically a package for Gordian Finches or basically the Gordian Finch lovers, should I say. Um, I'm trying to put everything into categories so that they're easy to find um, in, in their own individual sections, I, I suppose. It's, um, it's been a real challenge. It's taken, I've been working on this really about nearly a year now, not, not quite far off a year. And it's been a real struggle because I'm working in the same room as I've got about a hundred little finches in. And as you know, anybody that keeps finches would know that they can be quite noisy when they want to be. Uh, these things <laughs> are driving me nuts sometimes. So I've come up with the brainwave of uh, dividing my room into two sections so I can have the noisy birds, well, pretty much all of the birds really, on one side behind the wall. I can close the door and on this side I can just... Um, get on really work really because it's just been one thing after another I've had uh, nothing but bad luck with my hard drive one of my hard drives went down which had all of my photographs and videos on there and documents um, I had tens of thousands of photographs I had many many photographs of all different types of things like illnesses um, uh, sick birds um, histories of sick birds and right up to the point where they've recovered and some with have actually died uh, some of the different uh, different mutations of Gordian finches and hand rearing you name it it was all on there I had videos pictures the lot and what happened is the the, the controller board on the hard drive burnt out and someone said to me well if you buy a new controller board from eBay or something you can get them on there put them on the board it put them exchange the the controller board on the drive and it should work and I thought oh that's all right so I tried that I went I went and bought a new one from eBay I put it on the I put it on the uh, hard drive and blow me up bloody worked so I thought oh this is great so I can fit the hard drive into my computer of course when it was sat on top of the computer and I was dismantling the computer so I can get open the side of the computer up to put the hard drive in the hard drive fell on the floor in its corner and now all it does is just click 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 so I've lost all the information I've lost everything it's really held me back a lot so I've been relying on photographs and just things like that photographs at the moment maybe some videos later from um, uh, volunteers from the Gordian Finch and the Finch Keeper group who've uh, willingly uploaded some of their photos for the application so you know I, I do thank those people for helping me out because I would have been quite stuck without them to be honest in fact this software probably I probably wouldn't have completed I would have just given up but it's come a long way um, this is the program you're looking at at the moment it's still it's still in development but I just wanted to give you an update to show you what I've been doing and how far I've got um, some of you may be familiar with the screen and some of the screens I've shown photographs of but you haven't actually seen a live version of it so I want to go through and just show you what I've been doing so far uh, right on the first tab is the about us page and I do like the effect that I've done around the buttons I must say I was quite, quite impressed with that um, it's just trying to make it look a little bit interesting really it's not too overpowering uh, this is just an about us what, what this uh, the Finch Keeper program is about and you have the versions, what versions of software there are. This is the obviously the license free, which is the free version. There's the other one, which will come come out later. Probably it won't be. I doubt very much it'll be this year, unless I'm very lucky. It'll probably be next year now. This uh, the full version. I don't know. I see. I see how it goes first. Of course, this is basically this tab is just about the project itself, and it explains um, what this thing's really about. Of course, that one everybody knows. This is the button that nobody really likes to press. This is just um, to show you. Um, it's just for those people, really, that are grateful for the hard work that I've put into all of this. If anybody wants to make a donation, because I don't make a single penny from it. I'm not asking for money. But if you feel like, you know, the, if, if, if you feel it's offering something for you, you know, it's helped you out in some way, then, of course, you can make a donation. But... 
you don't have to buy the program or anything like that i mean you don't have to donate if you don't want to it's just there i mean i don't really care if you do or not but it would be nice to see something just for appreciation but um yeah this one here i really wanted to this tab uh, the warning it's it's not a warning as such but it is it's a warning for people that are unaware of um it's called bird fancy is lung now this applies to people who have uh, respiratory problems or sensitive to dust um or someone who's been keeping birds or been sitting or living around birds or having them in your home for a long period of time like over years of course with when they're when they poo or when they're, they're feather dust it, it can build up and of course you're breathing it in which can lead to um, irreversible effects and even death if if it gets to to a point where um you know nothing's been done about it so I, I wanted to highlight this because um, i felt it was important um a lot of people do keep birds a lot of people that i've known over the years have kept birds for many years and some of them do have respiratory problems are unaware of this as well so this button down here is just a, a link that will take you to wikipedia and it will give you uh pretty much a good um right up right up about it so you can have a good read on there it will tell you symptoms and stuff like that so i felt that was important to um just to highlight that so uh um the next one is beginners this one is just um if you're a beginner or you're just you're just curious you want to read on it i mean this is probably be a good landing spot anyway for uh, someone to open up and have a little browse really give you some good ideas and tips and stuff like that um of course these one this i believe this page is finished anyway i don't plan on writing any more for that so i mean i say most of the photographs on there are donated from other people which is something i'm very much grateful for uh the behavior tab is basically about birds and their behavior um you may find something which is on their behavior or something like that again some of these are repeat from the some of these photographs are repeat ones from the one you see a moment ago but they're going to be changed because um this one's still in development this this page as most of them are most of them are still in development some of them are very near finished some of them are finished and some of them i haven't even started um the next one is of course the breeding which is um gathering is going to be a very popular tab i do plan on adding more to this because although i've written quite a lot on here it does explain quite a lot in details to be honest it does go into a bit more detail than i plan to put on here but this is technically it's finished but i would still like to add a bit more information on there just for uh, just to help people out really this one here is charts um most of these charts are what i've made myself and of course you can open them up in any kind of um photo viewer and then print them off if you choose um you can save them to a disc print them off or do whatever you want with them um this one here is uh, the breeding chart this one now i don't mind if you as you see at the bottom they're copyright free so i don't mind if you um edit them share them or whatever you do whatever you like with them print them off then use them i mean you can change the text on some of them if you like it doesn't really it doesn't make no difference um i would ask that people keep you know the, the name finch keeper on there i mean I'll, some people will some people won't i don't know it's up to you but it would be nice you know out of respect because i have put a lot of work into these charts in fact i put a lot of work into all of this stuff i've done other seasonal charts for your breedings and this is i believe for the northern hemisphere and the one there for southern hemisphere now i do plan on doing more charts um i may add them to this i don't know just yet so um i'll see how that goes uh, the next one is diet so you'll notice you, these ones here i haven't added the photos see i haven't added any photos yet but i've got some more text to write on there as well i mean there's a there's a lot of writing on there i mean not just this page but all of them um their photographs will be added um in time and then i've done the environment that's environmental conditions of um 
the right and wrong environment for a Gaulian finch. Again, there's no pictures on this because I haven't added them yet, and there will be more text on there as well. There is a lot to write up on these. I mean, it's taken me ages just to write what I've written. I've written a, um, a tab on here on fertility. Um, I thought it'd be useful to add it. Again, there's no pictures yet. Uh, this is how far I've sort of got, really, where his pictures are concerned. Um, yeah, I thought I thought fertility would be an interesting one to add because I've heard some some crazy stories <laughs> about fertility, and I thought I'd, I'd um, highlight some of the facts and whatnot. Uh, the other one there is uh, gender. Now, gender is. Um, oh, before I carry on, I did want to say, if you click on any picture, it will give you a full screen mode, and then click it again, it will take you back. Again, with any photo, this was any photo on that side, you can highlight them, and etc. You know, get a full view. Um, I explain on there, which is uh, diamorphic, monomorphic, poly uh, polymorphic, and explains um, what it's all about, what it means. Um, of course, it's about gender as well, so um, it does it does refer to their colours. Um, sorry, yeah, the colours. Obviously, the the male is more more colourful than the female generally, uh, more vibrant. But some of them some of them are almost identical, such as the top picture here, the the black headed uh, white breasts. I mean, you need a real sharp eye to dis to to notice the difference. But I, I always tell by the yellow on the abdomen. This is the male, and you can always tell because the male has a much darker, stronger colour yellow on the abdomen than the female. But if you had two females there, it'd be very hard to notice whether it's a male or female. So you'd really need a male to to stand by them. Sometimes it depends. Another way I can tell is if you look around the beak, whereas. The, on the hen, the, the beak seems to be darker, much further back than the male, whereas a male is usually just a tip. So that's another way of telling. So um, it depends on the colour of the Gordian as well. Right, well, I don't know how much I... Yeah, I did write quite a bit on that. So, um, yeah. Um, as I said, these shaded bits, that you probably won't get to see these. These are only in the full version. And there probably will be more tabs added as well at the end. Um, before this is released, I may add more tabs. I don't know. The trouble is, you get involved. You get you'll get involved with something over here, and you, then you'll think, "Oh, that's a good idea." Then you come back to something like one of these, and you, you you put more information on there, and then you come back here, and you've forgotten where you were. You think, "Oh, oh what was the idea I had for this one as well?" And then and it, it, and it holds you back. It, it take it just. It just takes much time. It's so time consuming. And like for me, I want to get as much information on there as possible for you guys to help you lot. Because there's a lot of people out there who are struggling, you know, in the beginning world that want to, you know, they want their birds to survive and have the best quality birds out there. And so, like for me, I'm trying to get the best information on there possible. And there's nothing worse than searching for information. You go on one site and you think, oh, I found a solution. And then, of course, you go to another site and then. They're contradicting, they're contradicting the other side that you've just been on. So you don't know where to stand. So I, I just want to, I just want to put, you know, things on here which are pretty much referenced or, you know, that I, I know myself is, is, is genuinely true. If I'm not sure about something, I will mention that it's, I'm not sure, but, you know, there's a possibility of this and that. So, um, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the hand rearing. I think, yeah, there's no... There's no images on here yet. This is quite a big topic, really, hand rearing. It's not simple, but I thought I'd add as much information on there as I can. And, and again, I'm probably going to add quite a bit more text to this. I mean, there's there's a lot there anyway. I'm scrolling through it fast, so it won't look a lot. But there's going to be there's going to be a lot more there. Again, with health checks. Health checks is very important with your birds. So I, I, I do go on about it a lot because it's very important. You you can have birds all the time and they look they look healthy and all of a sudden they just drop dead on you and you don't know why. It's because they've never been checked and they hide their illnesses so well. So I thought it'd be good to um put a tab on here, you know, about you know, what to look for, what to ob what to observe, you know, catching your birds and just, just lots of stuff really. I thought, well, you know, I'll load up all the information so that it gives you a little bit more to fall back on if you need if need be 
Um, let's move on to lighting. Lighting is is a question that comes up quite a bit in the Gordian Finch group. Um, what sort of light should I get for my birds? Um, what sort of um, uh, you, uh, ultraviolet light should I get? So there's many types of ultraviolet, but most of them are no good for your birds. Some of them are. Some of them will make them go blind. Some of them will. Some of them can burn. You know, and some of them can cause cancer. So you need to get the right one, and it will tell you here. You know about what sort of uh, light that you need. And if you if you go through it, all, we'll explain in detail. It tells you why it needs the UVB, why it needs ultraviolet, and why it needs UVA, etc. And it, I'll give you charts with them as well. So I mean, these charts I just downloaded off the web. So um, I don't believe they're copyright. So that's one thing I didn't want to do: start downloading things from the internet and loading them up and then finding out that they're copyright so I did make sure first that they're not I've, I've had a links page on here but I mean I'm going to redo this anyway I'm, I'm not 100% happy with it at all it's um it's an older format that I was doing it was an older design I've updated everything else it's just this tab this tab needs to be changed but the, I will keep the links on here and make it a, a bit more presentable but I'm going to add more links on there later as well. Most of these links are um, active links all the time. They're always there. So, I mean, you do find some websites. They're really good, and all of a sudden they just disappear, and they're never, they're never there again. So I don't want to put links like that on there. But most of these will always be here anyway. So I've, I've decided to keep them because they're more permanent, permanent sort of links. Um, this one, I don't know. I've opened it up, and... I've just like started to design it and I'm thinking I might put some short videos on there. One for like how to clip nails, another one how to clip beaks, another one how to do a quick check on your birds for um, mites and you know checking around the face, how to check inside the beak for um, like uh, canker or trichomonasis and just things like that really and or poop samples and just very short videos but i don't know it could take up a lot of space on the um a lot of space on your drives or if you've got phones it may it may consume a lot of your uh, memory so i don't know i may change it to something else but it's just an idea but let's say it's temporary at the moment it may stay it may go so um this one i felt i definitely should put on it it's new stock Everybody gets new stock at some point or another. So I thought, well, why not add it? And it's just to give you, again, there's no images on there at the moment, but there will be by the time you get it. Um, it's just to give you uh, ideas what to look for before you buy your birds, what to look out for, um, where you're getting them from. And it does tell you, I, I think this one tells you about the pet shops or something as well. Um, does it? Yeah, I think so. I think this one may discuss about pet shops and you know the the pros and cons of pet shops and stuff like that. Uh, it tells you what to observe. It gives you a, quite an ex a pretty aggressive list, really. I think it's quite aggressive, but that's but that's for someone like me. I I want quality. I like quality birds. I don't want to bring home something which has uh, genetic problems or you know something that's going to pass on to future generations and. Or birds that are just going to conk out on me, or or you might bring home a, a bird which is sick or something, and you know, and all of a sudden you get it home, you put it with your birds, and then you know, if you haven't quarantined it, which I would anyway, but some people don't, and then of course the illness spreads throughout your flock, and then you start losing all your birds because you brought home one sick bird. So I, I thought I'd add that on there just to give people. It's quite detailed as well. It's, there's quite a lot of write up on that. I don't really think I need to add any more. I do remember struggling with that one, but I thought I'd put as much information as I could on there for you anyway. Um, this one I found was important as well, pests. Now I have got lots of photos to add on this and it does cover quite a lot. You'd be surprised how many pests there are out there. I mean, you just look at that. I mean, you can freeze, you can freeze the video right now and read it. I mean, there's probably lots more that I've not sort of thought about, but there is pests. Pests are going to be one of the biggest problems that you ever come across when you keep birds. And it, this explains each one in quite vigorous detail as well. You know, he goes in about all the worms, all the different types of worms that there are. I mean, there are more, but I just put down the basic, the, the basic common ones really that you may come across. 
and how to treat them. I think there is a way to treat them on here. It'll probably be on another tab. So, um, yeah, it's quite detailed. I mean, I packed it out with as much information as I can. And I put a little photo gallery on here. Some people wanted to put photos. They wanted to upload. Up, they wanted to upload photos, so they can be included in a gallery. I said, "Yeah, okay, fine. I don't mind." So, what I'll do is I'll add all the photographs into one folder, and then just you can just view them as they are. I don't think at the moment if you double click, nothing really happens. Right click, double click, no. But I don't know. I may allow full screen of it. I don't know yet. Um. Right, this one up here, I've been working on, and I don't know whether yet to add something about the, uh, with a microscope, how to use, how to set it all up. I don't know yet. It's a bit, I want to get the program out to you as soon as possible, because there's a lot of people out there that really depend on this stuff. So, I mean, the more I muck around with it and add stuff to it, it'll be massive, innit? It? it would just take too long. So, I could always do an updated version later, I guess. But there's quite a lot of information on here anyway. About the pupology, um, it'd probably be a lot better when the photographs are all, all on here. It does explain best way I could. Um, Safest, I don't believe I've done that yet. That one's still a, that's still in development. Uh, the molt again should be in development. I haven't done that yet. It's the same. It's just template, just a template page at the moment. Uh, this one, I think this one is definitely finished. Um, this is tools for the job. It tells you uh, tools that you may need. Uh, some little handy tips as well. Tools. Um, I think um, I've done hospital cage, which is there. I've done one about. My, I did do a little bit about a microscope, an explanation of why you'd need one. I should imagine. Um, Obviously a bird bird banding kit, uh, med kit, most of these are kits anyway. Uh, where was the other one down here? Hand rearing kit, tells you all the stuff that you need with the photographs as well on this one. Um, basic medicines, here's your little list of this stuff. An incubator, and it, it does actually show you on here uh, how to build an incubator as well with uh, images a photo booth now some people some people will say why a photo booth I said well some people like to photograph there are people out there professionals they really want top quality professional photographs so it does explain about building uh, a, a unit where you can put the birds or birds in and take quality photographs and I thought that'd be a good idea to give a little explanation of that and highlight that. And this is another one as well, a sound recording room. Now, a lot of people do like to take photographs of their burrows and, you know, and they think it's great. Yep, we'll upload that and whatever, or we'll share it or we'll have a little album. But nobody, well, not many people really are into sound. I mean, you think each bird has their own individual song. Every bird has their own individual song. They're never really two the same. They may sound the same, but they're not. They're different. So um, I thought, well, how about a sound, sound recording room? And some people do have them. There are people that do have sound recording rooms. And like for someone like me, I can't do it here because I live in the same room where all my birds are at the moment. So I don't have a soundproof room. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to produce quality recordings of my, my birds singing, each one, I can't do it. Whereas some people can, they do have the room and they do have a spare room, which is, you know, which is sound, well, reasonably soundproof. Or they could turn it into a soundproof room where they could set up a, like, you know, professional sound quality recordings. I mean, that's something I'd like to do, but, you know, I thought I'd, uh, since I can't do it, I'd put the uh, idea on there and, and maybe other people, you know, may take to um, making recordings and uploading quality songs of their, their birds. Um Egg candler, egg candlers. They're, they're, you can buy them. They're cheap enough, but they're easy enough to build as well. I mean, really, all you need is, is a good LED light, little pen light, and a, a box type unit, and then you know, do it in the dark. Put your egg on top and get a good quality camera set up, stable without it wobbling, and then you can take your shot of the egg as it as the embryo develops. 
or you can take photographs even if the embryo doesn't make it and dies. So I just thought that would be um, handy. Like again, if you click on these, that there is an inky, what you call an inky kit. You can use that as a brooder or an incubator. You can, put, you can turn any box into an incubator just by using that unit. Um, yeah, well, I thought I'd add, I thought I'd add this section on there. I thought most people would find that would come in handy. So um, the last one is uh, toxins. Now this one is, it's not, a lot of people don't seem to take much notice of the video that I put up on based on toxins. Um, it's quite important because a lot of people do lose birds through toxins and they don't realize that it's through toxins that they've died because someone next door could be cooking with non-stick and they've burnt the pan and of course it releases gases and then if the gases drift past your bird it doesn't matter if they're indoors or outdoors your birds are never going to make it and they could be breathing fumes from a fire someone painting or someone burning cedar wood or something like that and the fumes alone will be enough to, to kill your birds or make them extremely sick um, it, air fresheners and things like that I do give a list on here as well uh, smoking and chocolate or picking up little things you know just things to be aware of I, I haven't done much of a write up on that but we may add more I don't know yet so I, I say I didn't write a great deal on that because the video that I did and uploaded on YouTube didn't get many views so I thought well if people don't really want to know about what's you know what's safe and what not safe for their birds and there's no point in me adding too much text to it it's not worth but dedicating too much time to it it's, I just don't see the point but I say this application is not finished yet so it's they like say you're going to see blank images everywhere etc but um yeah it's like I say it's free anyway it's not going to cost you anything so and another thing I did want to mention is the fact that it's at the moment it's Windows only uh, designed on Windows 10 so the software won't run on anything else I don't believe unless you're using either some kind of an emulator or another program that would probably emulate it I don't know I may do a, a version for um, like Mac operating system um, Apple um, Android or tablets or stuff like that I'm I or phones or blackberries and stuff like that I don't know I may I may do that at another point I don't know so I'll see how it goes anyway I just wanted to show you what I've been doing for the last um, I just yeah I just wanted to show you what I've been doing for the last uh, nine months ten months so I mean I haven't really been active online because I've been really working hard on that and with these birds in the background as you can hear they're so noisy and there's just no way to concentrate so they've slowed me down massively on this so once I've built the wall between my room and theirs and put them on the other side, I can just get stuck straight into this, concentrate and work through day and night probably, because I just want to get this out. There's quite a few people that, like on other parts of the world that don't have internet, you know, or they have limited access. And there are people that even in this country or, you know, in the Western world where they get cut off from the internet and they need, you know, they need access to some information like this right away. And of course, because they can't get online, they can't get the information. So I thought this would be the perfect way to, where they can store the information on their computer. So if they have like a sick bird or um, they need to know how to set something up or to do something, they've got the information right there. They don't need the internet. So, they, they, you know, everything's at hand. So um, there's a limit. there are many reasons why. And I've already had a couple of people already um, contact me they was interested in the project but they were interested in the project for their own benefit they wanted to know what software i was using to develop it what programming language you know they were trying to nick ideas really they were just um trying to get on the bandwagon i suppose you know trying to steal something that i've done but i don't know if it comes down i will put a copyright on it so they won't be able to but there again they still got to write out all the information anyway so anyway, I'm going to try and get this information um, all finished, get it all packaged and get it uploaded at some point. I'll let you know when um, it's ready and where it will be uploaded through YouTube. I will, up, I will do an update video to let you know 
when it is ready and where you can get it from. So um, until then, I guess.